So um, for today's class, uh, I'm going to take a little bit different track. So uh, remember that in the last class we started off, we actually completed a lot of uh, coding for Shiny. And today I will continue with Shiny. However, uh, before we get into the Shiny coding and also the specific examples on Apple, I thought that I'm, I should uh, tell you about this uh, another package uh, that a lot of people love to use. In fact, I see more and more people are these days interested in using this package called as Flex Dashboard. It's extremely easy. There is nothing complicated about this. Actually, I would say uh, if you spend maybe 10 minutes with this package, you will understand what's going on with this. Uh, it's about just a layout of your R Markdown document. It is, it is not going to do anything more than that. So it is not affecting the functionality of your visualization or the plots. Uh, all it is doing is, is creating a, a, a space for you. Uh, and this all is going to be in HTML only. Uh, and in this space, you can position your visualizations in a dashboard format. In a dashboard format means that it is available to your user in one place. So recall that in a Shiny app, uh, you can give your user a lot of control over what they want to see. Uh, in a Shiny dashboard, that is not, uh, not necessarily true. In a Shiny dashboard, you can in include a, sh uh, sorry, in a Flex dashboard, you can include a Shiny dashboard. But it's about layouts, that's it. So it, it, you, for example, you can bring a high charter plot or a plotly plot into Flex dashboard and display it. There's no problem. Uh, Flex dashboard on its own does not give you any of these abilities. So that's why, as I said, that it's about the layout. So once you understand how the layout works in a Flex dashboard, that's, that's all uh, there, it, uh, there is to learn about it. Uh, and that also has made it quite popular. So to uh, start using uh, Flex dashboard, you have to install the Flex dashboard package uh, in your R. So before you do anything, any coding today, I will, I will strongly recommend that you um, just type in install.packages, and this is the name of the package as you see in the screen, on the screen, Flex Dashboard, and give that name, install the package, and once the installation is complete, shut down your R Studio and restart it. Uh, once you do that, then it will be much easier for you to work with a Flex Dashboard. So I will give you a couple of minutes. I will pause the video.